How's it guys and you're watching the Telcom Gaming Show, although you probably knew that as you clicked on the link. In this week's episode we get our groove on with Just Dance 2015 as well as checking out Assassin's Creed Unity. We also review the new Sony Xperia Z3 and Z3 Compact. The new Just Dance has been released and marks Ubisoft's sixth game in the series. Those of you familiar with the game and series should be right at home as players will follow on-screen dance prompts to score points based on how accurate they both are in movement and time. Just Dance 2015 brings with it a new community remix mode where players will dance to the songs that have other players on the screen instead of the standard dances. Will Dance Floor and Auto Dance will also be included in the new iteration of the series and features the likes of Lady Gaga, Katy Perry, Rihanna, Pharrell and Calvin Harris. The game also offers a bunch of downloadable content which includes newer and older songs and can go for around about 20 to 30 rand. The game was released last week and will be available on PS3 and 4, Xbox 360 and Xbox One, as well as Wii and Wii U. Sticking with Ubisoft for this week, 13th of November is a day to mark on your calendars. Assassin's Creed Unity will be hitting PC, Xbox One and PlayStation 4 and will bring with it a new type of Assassin's game set in Paris during the French Revolution. Everybody wants to lose. The single player portion of the game follows Arno Dorian as the main protagonist and follows his journey to expose the powers behind the French Revolution. As is always the case in this amazing franchise, it keeps the third person open world dynamic going and brings with it improved combat and stealth. It's also the first game to include a cooperative multiplayer which lets up to four players join together to tackle the missions and explore the open world map. Ubisoft is talking about a rebuild combat system taking an inspiration from fencing. Here's hoping that the combat is something that will keep the players glued to their screens. In addition to that, the scaling of buildings can be a lot more interesting now with the parkour mechanics that have been introduced. Customization is now also a thing in Assassin's Creed and for the first time ever, players will be able to customize their characters by adopting a skill tree that will enable players to spend skill points on certain aspects in the game to make the game more tailored to the way you want to play it. Assassin's Creed Unity is definitely a game to look out for in November and will be hitting our local shores on the 13th. Sticking with some awesome games that are up and coming in November, both Dragon Age Inquisition and Little Big Planet 3 will be making their way to the market at the end of the month. You should never have existed. Dragon Age Inquisition is the up-and-coming action RPG by BioWare, which will follow on from the previous games in the Dragon Age series. We can all agree that Dragon Age Origins was awesome and Dragon Age 2 wasn't as good. Both had some amazing elements though, which is why BioWare has combined the best of both worlds for Dragon Age Inquisition. There will be multiple races to play and more tactical approach for fighting. DAI will be coming to PC, PlayStation 3 and 4, and Xbox 360 and Xbox One on the 21st of November. Big Planet 3 will be a PlayStation exclusive coming out at the end of November for PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4 and will introduce three new characters to help Sackboy along the way. Odd Sock, Swoop and Toggle all have unique traits and abilities that will help Sackboy progress through the wondrous world. Stephen Fry and Hugh Laurie will be lending their voices to LVP3 and players will be able to enjoy the user creator levels once again as over 70 new tools have been added to the game to capture the best map creations possible. Alright competition time, don't forget to check out the Telcom Gaming website for our alien isolation competition that is still running and will be closing off on Monday the 3rd of November. Additionally, Telcom Gaming has launched another competition for The Evil Within, a game we spoke about last week. 
If you're interested in winning this awesome The Evil Within bundle, check out the website in the link below. In this week's iTech segment, Stephen gets his hands on the brand new Sony Xperia Z3 and Z3 Compact. Sony are on a roll. They've just released the brand new Z3 range of smartphones, the Z3 Compact and the Z3 itself, as well as an 8-inch Z3 tablet, which we'll review at a later date. The new Z3 launches hot on the heels of the previous new Z2, which was only around about six months ago and it's available in South Africa right now. Is the new Z3 worth an upgrade over the Z2? Well, in my opinion, it definitely is. Sony have done an incredible job at making the new Z3 much better and significantly different. The first thing you'll notice, it's got much more rounded curves, rounded edges. It feels far uh, smoother and more comfortable in your hand. It, one of the standout features of the new Z3 is the screen. It has brightness of 600 nits, which is 50% better than the Z2 at 400. The bottom line there is, in bright sunlight, even in the South African summer, you're going to be able to see the screen a lot better. It also improves the gaming experience and it improves the quality of video quite considerably. One of the outstanding new features of the new Z3 and Z3 Compact is the battery life. Sony have worked miracles at getting the battery to last at least a full day and in fact the Z3 Compact ran almost three days without a charge with some pretty heavy use. The other outstanding feature which continues in the whole Z from the Z1 to the Z2 to the Z3 range is the waterproof and dustproof nature of these devices. And sitting in the bath for messaging may not be everybody's cup of tea but you can do it with the Z3 products. They will survive half an hour to an hour underwater at around about 1.5 meters. And on the Z3, they've improved the waterproof and dustproof ability to an even higher military spec. It is fairly liberating. Never have to worry about wetting or getting dirt or dust in your brand new shiny smartphone. The cameras on the Z3 and the Z3 Compact are excellent brand new devices from Sony using their new G lens and a 20.2 megapixel sensor. They've improved the sensor to improve the low light um, ability of the cameras. In my experience, the low light ability is good, but not outstanding. There are a couple of cameras on the market, like the new Nokia and the uh, HTC One M8 that are better at low light. However, overall, if you're prepared to put a little bit of effort and compose your pictures properly and choose the correct settings, um, these are excellent cameras. They're very fast, they're very, very detailed, and have excellent color accuracy, which is a Sony hallmark. Both phones feature front-facing speakers, which is great for gaming, great for video conferencing. They're not in the same league as the HTC One M8, but they certainly are very, very good and give crisp, clear audio performance. Along with that, Sony has also incorporated a high definition audio mode. It's a little hidden in the, in the settings and you need to dig around to get it, but it does improve the quality of the sound a little bit, especially on headphones. Both phones come with 16 gig of built-in storage, but the ability to slot in an SD card up to 128 gig essentially makes storage not a challenge on both these devices. What they do have, which is really interesting, is three gig of RAM, which gives them an incredible smoothness and speed. Games load incredibly quickly, apps run very smoothly, and multitasking is really not a problem. What Sony have done is kept a fairly light skin on top of Android, so it's easy to use, fairly intuitive. What they do do is add tons of additional features which are hidden in the um, menus, and you may need to become a little geeky to get to them, but high-end audio, great video processing, brilliant camera apps, and a lot of additional features that make this probably one of the contenders for top Android phone of 2014. The two new Sonys are available right now at pretty reasonable prices from all the networks um, across South Africa. You should expect to pay in the region of 10,000 Rand for the Z3 and around about 7,900 Rand for the Z3 Compact. Ladies and gents, that is all from us this week. Enjoy your Halloween and we'll see you again next time.